Chief Minister Nong Thomam Biren stresses need to identify state's enemy. No question of any Congress MLA joining BJP, says MPCC President Gai Kagam. And amid government's initiative to bring quality education, primary school found to be run by one teacher. Good evening, welcome to ISTV English News at 8 and now moving on to the news in detail. Chief Minister Nong Thoman Biren stressed the need to identify the real enemy of the state. He was speaking at the inaugural event of the second Dr. L. Bhagachandra Memorial Lecture at Kangla Hall today. Health Minister L. Jayanti Kumar was also present at the event organized by Research for Manipur in collaboration with State Archaeology Department. The Chief Minister maintained that the NGOs and civil society organizations do not try to find out the state's enemy sincerely. He emphasized that it is high time the future of the state was discussed. President of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, Gai Kangam, said there is no question of any Congress MLA joining BJP. He was speaking to media persons at the booth level interaction program held at Kangla Sangomsang Makaleikai. Gai Kangam further said whenever there is conflict in the present government, they will blame the Congress party and spread rumors that some Congress MLAs will join BJP. The Congress MLAs has come out to work for the people. He aided that who wants to join the government which is itself engrossed in conflicting situation. The seven Congress MLAs who have already joined BJP might be regretting the decision now he aided. Congress ki BJP the Sangha Dabka Lai Hai Basi Masi Da Ahan Basi Nati. Marak Marak Ta Makoi Na Makoi Masin Se Mohon Ta Dara Kaan Da Ko Congress ki MLA Sing Na Tai Nabadao Na Tau Basi Lai Bakti Bani. Manung Da Makoi Ki Na Pak Na Pak Ta Nabadu Ki Se Tap Oye Me Da Mak Ta Pangai hai bani hai na ini lawe. Madoh basis jauh de. Hujikku mai amda. Orang be MLA ona karak posisiu. Wakan kantha be ngam ngam tu niya. Lai be sisu 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 takana sang ningeri. Haan satu be tarik to. Atu faham tu hujik si kani kai hai ni. Ika ikang beri ke lai be hai tu niya. Tadi orang be salur be no hai tu na. Karena lai ni be nafuk. Atu matuk ta father atu ta sat pay be sisu madu dia. Thasa de madu gumba. Jangan mesjid boleh berpikir nak cut lagi, atau apa parti yang muda destabilis tau nak apa, mana betul nak tau betul, mesti lembak tiba ni. Gai Kangam further intimated that no one knows what has happened to the inquiry conducted by the inquiry committee formed in connection with sacking of portfolios from some ministers recently. Employees were given penalty for the involvement in various corruption-related cases, but the government has failed to show the inquiry report conducted on some ministers, he aided. Just amat retired, just mana head tu orang kanda, baru baru komision tu baru tayo lawan dingi. Adik itu tak tak hand effective punya nampak. Mesti inquiry report ada, baru thuna fana public domain tu thamak kanda. Kena kena involve tu orang ni. Senpam exact amount si involve tu ni. Kalau bermuang dia tu thok kibar orang. Hai macam macam pondok piu, hai tu pondok piu ni hai macam thaja bal layer ni sih dah. Mado koi ni mai ni kang dapat hati ada. Mado result tu faham dah. Ikan ini berlalu ini berlalu dia berapa kang 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 dengan isi dah. Portfolio ni mungkin sih mungkin kerja kucing ni hai bersih. Aman hari ni jangan. Live waktu ni 
masigum ba asina prajada thaja ba mangan ba acho ba amu oigani haidana masi khalle duga masi niyom gi uang mani. Krai Block Congress Committee organized a booth level interaction program at Kangla Sangomsang. President of MPCC Gai Kangam, Vice President as Achoba, President of Kurai Block Congress Committee K Sanajoba attended the program. Speaking at the function, Gai Kangam further added that the government will destroy itself. The ministers were busy in power fighting instead of doing development works for people, he added. <laughs> Law of the Kayanila, ya dig, and very much for a male, and millene, Kongene, Shitabo, Kayakuin Secretary. Nami was suddenly a man, say. I should surprise the Tabasu Toto day, has a statement to him. Quit Nami's Hawaii, Congress of Toto is Hawaii. No quibble say, Nami, and Moriai. Quit Hatoka, the Supreme said, Hatoka is again, no quibble Yaraku, or Yaujero, she never. But about the Namasi, Kasu and Kanguru, no, but the Kuru Han Tatabasota, a good parties can Kangalagan, Mission twenty twenty two, say. Mapung Hana, I quite Pang Tokong and Nanaba, sit Humpu Evanunda, forty five seats of Pangakanda, absolute majority, more than two thirds majority Pangakanda, Hana Sahi, Tama Paramado, Sahi Kun Paramumba, Adum Saka, the Uena Kapunamo, Honamin Si. Three pedestrians were killed as a Tata winger hit them. The fatal incident occurred around 7.30 last night at Upokpi and Topokpi under Bisnupur police station. As the information received from the mishap site, the Tata winger bearing registration number MN01TC0018 hit the three pedestrians along the road around 7.30 last night. The deceased have been identified as Laisham Ingaibi, alias Ingobi, 60, of Topopi Mamang Leikai, Oinam Birahari, 62, uh, son of O Koidum of Topopi Mamang Leikai, and Thokjom Thinao, 18, son of T.H. Ibomcha of Upopi Mamang Leikai, ward number 10. The police have arrested the driver of the Tata Winger and the vehicle has been seized. The driver has been identified as Lamabam Rajan, 32, son of L. Nityai of Ngai Kong Kulin. Amid the state government's initiative to bring quality education by launching school Fagadhansi mission, a primary school was found to be run by just one teacher. Sangsabi Primary School at Sangsabi in Lamlai constituency, which is located just 9 kilometers from Imphal, lacks basic infrastructure and teaching staffs. Headmistress in charge of the school is currently teaching 10 students at the school. Speaking to media persons, Chairman of Lamlai Kendra Development Committee, Achoibam Devan stated that despite launching school Fagadhansi mission, the government fails to look into the condition of the school, which is just 9 kilometers from Imphal. He drew the attention of the government to look into the matter at the earliest. Masi Marie Lainawa, a quick respected Emil Nazu, Mieng Changwide, Aduga, Liberia Education Minister Nazu, Masi Mieng Tatsangbiraga, Lamai Kin, the Lair Bapazang Akteni, Lair Bapazina, like the Mangam de Vizgomi, is Kunda, like the Maga. Massaging like Hyangani Wakan on the Kanjuru, Naduma Sidi Kedora. Massaging like Hyangani Burgi, Oibadigi Maram Worga, Moise, Pavis Kunda, Loitangre, Pavis Kundi, Tambudi Maram Worga, Mojing Hazik Lady Villa Makin, Awa Pivam the Lady. Aduna Marie de Nava, Concern Minister, Amadi Loki, Emil and Ming Chambiraga, Sansabi Primary Skunje, Amuta di Hinganji. On the other hand, school Fagadhansi mission was launched at Irilbong High School. MLA and Indrajit and officials concerned attended the event. The commemoration of the International Day of the World's Indigenous Peoples under the theme Indigenous Languages was held at Lamyanba Shanglin today. The program was organized by Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee Manipur, President of Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee Dhiraj Yumnam, Acting Chairperson of Manipur Human Rights Commission Kaide Mani, former Vice Chancellor of Manipur University Professor Hijam Tombi, and former Acting Chairperson of Manipur Human Rights Commission Yambim Lava attended the program. General Secretary 
Secretary of Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee, Manipur, Takhilakpam Bogen Rajit, said, as per United Nations International Day of the World's Indigenous Peoples is being held annually on 9th of August under a theme. He added that STDC has known the need to protect and cultivate indigenous languages, but it is also vital to save and protect the indigenous people who had been using the indigenous languages for ages. People need to protect indigenous people in order to save indigenous languages, he aided. The Kailakpam Bogendujit has appealed to government not to ignore the demands and demanded to provide constitutional rights to people. We have a demand committee in the Tamjari Wapam Sina. Loan do we occur to the Koisu Yaredo. Tabuta will loan Dungangi Basing Do. Hindu the Kramato than loan to Hindu. I don't know. Number one Magi Basic and Odi. Nangi were missing Makoibu Hing and Bamakoibu protection piva. Sangidan gave a constitutional give a Manipogomena. Tongum Tonging the Gum Taudana, Live Simacy. Tobino, as a Chumbak and only demanding my teaching by Makwigi. Constitutional Ridney, Yellow Mio Moebiasi. A two but local one talk with Toxia, local Pedana. Titular King Laisemba Sanajongba stressed the need for people's joint efforts to save and protect our indigenous language and aided that it is not the only responsibility of Milal. He was speaking at the 16th foundation of Milal held at GM Hall today. Leaders of Milal Yang Lem Birain, Wangambi Leima, Assistant Professor of Manipur University, Dr. N. Sanatomba, Chairman of K. M. Blooming High Secondary School, K. H. Menjur Mangang, Social Activist Mutum Churamani, Founder Principal N. G. Leima, and K. Kuber of Singja Konbi Institute were among others present on the occasion. People offered floral tributes, the picture of C. H. Akaba. One minute silence was observed to honor the departed soul of Ningtaujam Baby Sana. Laisemba Sana Joba further intimated that our forefathers had left rich culture, traditions, language and scripts and it is not it is the moral obligation of today's generation to nurture and develop them. Our state is among countries which have their own mother languages, he aided. Masi Milan Katana, Lol May Kitam the C and Basongba, Makoi Katana Masita Atatayu in a Hona do Nata. I'm the Master Lady Bako Kudumanasu I could lol, I could give Maya put Sauken Nava, Pakto Sautong Nava, Horal Liva, Mirol Sina Suhen Hana Masi, I could give Kangan Lava, Halaman Sina Tambiamba, I could Ari Valila Su Sing Maya Mamalay with the Su, Koya Mayekta on Tong Lava. But the mine I could Kung Jung Sanchal Lagadi, I could see Pangto with Tom Basic Sapsava, do Mawaka Lola do Pangan and the Kanze. A book titled ISM, written by Kunjo Narem of Kakching, was also released during the function. Meritorious students who have scored higher marks in Maite Mayek in the class 10 and 12 examinations of this year were also felicitated during the program. Arabti Awang Lekai Women Welfare Association staged sit in at Arabti Awang Lekai demanding justice for Ningtaujam Baby Sana. School students of the area also took part in the sit in. Tongak Lairambi Masai Kol Semkat Sagat Nupi Lup staged a sit in at National Game Village Zone 4 demanding justice for Baby Sana. A woman urged the government to find out the truth at the earliest. Tree saplings were planted in the surrounding areas of the newly constructed hostel building of Family Welfare Training Center at the RD Wing Complex, Lumfield Park, to be inaugurated by the Health Minister on 20th of August. Principal Secretary of Health and Family Welfare, V. Wumlin Mang, Director of Health and Family Welfare, K. Raju, and other staffs attended the program organized by State Health Society, Manipur. State Mission Director of National Health Mission, Dr. S. Manikanta, stated that the tree plantation program was organized with an objective to keep the climatic condition in check when the trees are fully grown. Now it's time for a short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.
Welcome back. The ninth Mission Green Manipur was held at Kangaching Park today under the theme Every Sapling Planted Must Grow. The program was organized by Manipur Updates, IPR Director H. Balkrishna, Tourism Director W. E. Bohal, Advisor of Manipur Updates T. Hero and many others attended the program. Media Coordinator of Manipur Updates L. Rojan said tree plantation program was organized at Kangla and Kangaching for this year. The tree plantation program will be closed for the current year and the organization will monitor the planted saplings from next week. The 40th Foundation Day of Yoga Training and Research Center was observed at the Multipurpose Hall of Juvenile Club, Sagolban Tera Sapam Lekai. Today, Director of Ayush, Dr. L. Promila, retired Joint Director of Kada, Asim Ibotombi, President of YTRCM, Dr. Y. Bajau, Vice President of YTRCM, M. Shambhabu, retired 4th IRB, CO, Nanda Kishore, among those present on the occasion. Speaking at the event, Secretary of YTRCM and Ganga stated that the center won various competitions. He said that yoga helps in maintaining physical and mental health. The 107th birth anniversary of Raj Kumar Shitaljit Singh was held at JN Manipur Dance Academy, organized by Cultural Forum Manipur. Retired Lieutenant General Konsum Himali, President of Cultural Forum Manipur, Professor Huiram Bihari, and Director of Art and Culture Aribam Shivda Sharma attended the event, among many others. Professor Nahakpam Aruna spoke on a critical assessment of trend of Manipuri short story during the program. Three books titled Balmiki, Ketuki and Sakuntala, written by Raj Kumar, she tells it was re-released at the function. A woman was found hanged to death at Moirang Panchang Leikai under the jurisdiction of Moirang Police Station. The incident occurred around 7 p.m. last night. The deceased woman has been identified as Chungam Lui alias Ichil, 31, wife of Konjengbam Tomba alias Jackson. Speaking to media persons at Rim's mortuary, family members of her parental home said Chungam Lui was from Kopum Goitang village and she was married to Jackson and had a child. The family members allege suspicion that Chungam Lui did not commit suicide. A member of Nungba Assembly constituency, Gai Kangam visited the bereaved family members and took part in their sorrows. A JC was formed in connection with the death co-convenor of JC. Atongbi Kame said they suspected that the incident was not a case of suicide and has demanded police to further investigate the matter. The JEC, along with support from public, will resort to intense agitation if the matter is not taken up seriously at the earliest. ซีรีสเซอร์กรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมกรรมก
Disabled Development Association Manipur DDAM observed its 13th Foundation Day at Oinam Sawambong Awang Leikai. Joint Director of Social Welfare Department Banti Singh, Advisor of DDAM Muhammad Wahazuddin, Dr. Zanatun were among others present on the occasion. Joint Director of Social Welfare Banti Singh intimated that a proposal has been submitted to the government to set up separate directorate for the disabled and ensure that steps will be taken to provide benefits for the disabled swiftly. Participants of the 5th National Wheelchair Basketball Championship 2019 held in Mohali, Punjab were felicitated on the occasion. A free medical camp was also held as part of the observance. Manju Ilangbam and Ahong Sangbam Aneshwari Devi have been selected for the Ustad Bismillah Khan Yuva Puruskar 2018 conferred by Sangit Nata Academy, New Delhi. Manju Ilangbam was selected for the award in Manipuri Dance and Aneshwari Devi in traditional folk music. Governor of Manipur, Dr. Najma Haptila will hand over the awards to Manju Ilangbam and Aneshwari Devi during the five-day Festival of Music, Dance and Drama slated to be held from tomorrow at Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy. A press conference was held at JN Dance Academy in connection with the matter. Speaking to media persons, Chairman of Sangit Nata Academy, Shekhar Sen said the event will be held for the first time in Imphal. He further said artists from different states will present shows of folk music and dance at MSFDS Auditorium. The closing ceremony of the festival will be held at MSFDS on 23rd of August, he added. A public meeting was held in presence of around 100 laborers of Jiribam FCI Godown and Jiribam Railway Station in connection with the non-payment of wages properly. General Secretary of CAF and PD, Laborers Welfare Association, Sangai Poro, Imphal, Romendrajit Moirangcha said, instead of bringing solution to the cease work strike, the authority concerned hired laborers from Silchar, Kassar, Assam and it is totally unacceptable by the laborers. Romendrajit further said, as per order issue by FCI headquarters, it is said that if anyone was found working or involved in rice-related issues, they will be punished. But the conduct of the officials concerned has shown that they themselves has violated the orders. The association totally condemned the act. The meeting has decided that the laborers will continue the cease work strike till wages of rice is not increased to rupees six per bag. The laborers will resort to intense agitation if their demands are not met at the earliest. And now before we close at lines once again. Chief Minister Nong Thomam Biren stresses need to identify state's enemy. No question of any Congress MLA joining BJP, says MPCC President Guy Kanga. And amid government's initiative to bring quality education, primary school found to be run by one teacher. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching and have a great night. Stock market training.